Alrighty guys, what is going up? I hope you guys are all having a great and amazing day today. Now in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the top stocks under $20 that could easily double within a couple of months, if not a year. So I hope you guys enjoy it and if you guys get anything in value, make sure you guys hit that like button. It really, really helps me out. So hit that like button down below. Also, if you guys want to learn how to properly invest in the stock market, because anybody can buy random stocks, random ETFs, but it takes an educated investor to make money in the long run. It's only $5, go ahead and check it out, first link down below. So now that jump into it, the top stocks under $20, that can easily double. Roll the intro, let's go. Bam. Alrighty guys, so the first stock under $20 is Plug, P-L-U-G. This is also known as Plug Power. Now, Plug is working with a ton of companies right now developing uh, different solutions for hydrogen-based cars, electric vehicles, they're working with Workhorse, they're working with Nikola Motors, if they're even still out on the market here. But this company is actually one of the front runners in uh, providing hydrogen because a lot of people like to say, well, hydrogen is going to be the new uh, fossil fuel. And looking at it as a technical standpoint, we have a nice upward trend in the stock price. And then this sell off here gives us good opportunity to buy it at a discount so you guys can see that this stock likes to use this yellow line here as some support so it really comes in contact with it down in here we get some buying pressure uh hits it here we get buying pressure so now it's coming in contact with it again i think that we could definitely have more buying pressure in this stock price so if I were you guys, I would enter this uh, position here if you can get in at around 14.40 to around 15.15. Um, overall, I would like to see this come back up to those highs, setting your stops at uh, just under $14. So you're going to be risking, you know, 30 to 80 cents to make upwards of, you know, five or six dollars. That is a perfect ROI and a perfect ratio for risk. So overall, guys, I think that this one could definitely double if the demand of electric and hydrogen-based cars uh, follows. Just like it's been doing, I really think that this is going to be one of the front runners in that provider of hydrogen and a lot of other things here. Now, another cool thing is Plug is working with Amazon for uh, Amazon delivery trucks, which is kind of cool. But overall, guys, I think that Plug has a ton of long and short-term potential to make some money here. So the next one here is JWN. This is Nordstrom's. So you guys can see before this whole recession hit, the stock was trading at around $41, sold off big time to support here at around $11, and then it has kind of just been trading sideways. I do think that this stock is going to have some nice short-term potential with the holiday season coming up. Now, a lot of people are going to turn to Nordstrom, Nordstrom's to buy luxury items because you're not going to buy you know, cheap items at Nordstrom's. Nordstrom's is going to be expensive. And I understand you might be saying, well, Carter, why are you going to be um, interested in a brick and mortar store right now with everything going on? Well, if Nordstrom really focuses on the profitable stores, limits out all the bad ones, and then they focus on selling online, I think that this company could be profitable in the near future. Looking at it as a technical standpoint, you guys can see that right now we're just kind of in this consolidation zone. A little short-term sell-off here, but overall, I definitely think that within this holiday season, we could get a break of about $16 to $15.50. So overall, that would still be going up to those highs, if not, not even hitting them. And I do think we're going to get a break of this 200 moving average line right now, setting your stops right below it because it will use it as some overall support. That's kind of my idea with this one here. But overall, it's definitely one to keep an eye on for this holiday season it is Nordstrom. JWN is the ticker here. So the next one here is ticker small CLDR. Now, this one here is a data company. They are a data warehouse company. Very, very similar to Snowflake. Now, we all we all know Snowflake was one of the most hyped up IPOs. And honestly, the, the stock is just kind of fallen flat. But this one here is a definitely a stock that I think a lot of people could invest in a similar company just at a more affordable price here. And honestly, the company is still growing at a very, very rapid rate. So you're still getting you're still getting in on a very strong company, but it's just a lot cheaper. 
now at the rate data is growing i think that we could definitely get these highs back at 15 dollars, if not get a break of you know 18 by mid next year just by going off the rate of data growth data is growing at around 17 to 22 percent per year and honestly if this company just follows that we're going to get those highs in that break within the next year and a half. So it's definitely one to keep an eye on, ticker symbol CLDR here. So the next one here is ticker symbol CCL. This is Carnival Cruise here. Now this one is definitely gonna take a long time to recover, but when do I think it will hit $30? Cause that would pretty much be a double in profit and double in growth. Well, I definitely think it's gonna take around two years to do that. You know, I always like to say this little quote that I said was, if that's a 2019, they made $20 million. And in 2020, their revenue dropped from 20 million all the way to five. But in 2021, the company makes $20 million again. A lot of people like to say, well, their stock price should be the same as 2019. But the answer to that question is it won't. The reason why is because the company is gonna have to take on long-term debt to get through that year of only making $5 million. So I don't think it's gonna hit these highs again, but I definitely think that within the next couple of years, we could get a break of $30, $30 a share. You know, I think it's just a matter of time before things really start opening up again and the vaccine is here. I think it's just a matter of time. And I think with that being said, this is gonna be the one of the front runners in that travel era and the front runners in the uh, travel industry and in the travel sector here, CCL Carnival Cruise. But overall, another thing with this one is it does carry more risk than a lot of traditional stocks. So make sure you guys understand that and honestly set your stops accordingly if you're gonna trade it. And if you're gonna be investing for the long term, understand that before it hits 30, it could easily come back down to you know 12 or $13 again. You know, it's just a very, very volatile stock. You know, we are kind of technically on this downward trend. So there could be a little more uh, downside potential in the short term. But if you're a believer of it in the long term, we could definitely get a break of 30. So that is it though. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you guys did, make sure you guys hit that like button. Don't forget to check out my course. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and stay safe out there. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.